I just can't get enough of orange wine, man. Orange wine is now to do with oranges. So no orange wine video would be complete without the mention of these two legends here from North East Italy. Radicon and Gravner. Uh, I'm gonna start with Gravner, one of my favorite wines. So Josco Gravner, um, in the early 90s, he was actually making some of the most sought after white wines in Italy. High acid, aromatic stuff, native grape varieties to Northeast Italy, the Rabola grape variety. But he always knew in his heart that the best wines were made from Ribola with some skin contact. And in the mid 90s, there was a really catastrophic vintage where most of the grapes got lost and he only had a few grapes left. And that was the moment when he started experimenting and really going for it. And he got himself a quevery from Georgia. So the room where all of Josco Gravner's quevries are, there's like quevries everywhere. And then there's just a chair in the middle where I don't know what he does, just sits there and watches the wines ferment or something. It wasn't an easy transition, actually. All of Josco's customers, the, the wine press, they were all saying what an idiot he was for, for changing his style. And it took a while for people to really get used to it and to get on board with the style. He was confident enough to know that this was going to be one of the great wines of the world. It's just the most complex wine and it ages amazingly well. I was lucky enough to taste some of the wines going back to the 90s, and they really do blow you away. And another producer who is just down the road is Radicon. Stanko Radicon was Josco's mate, and in the 90s he was he was chatting about all of the skin contact stuff, and he, about the same time Stanko Radicon was starting to do his skin contact wines as well. So instead of doing them in quevries, Stanko was doing his in big wooden barrels open fermenters so you can get in there with a stick and, and move the grape skins around and that. The Radicon wines have got a lovely spiciness to them. They're very intense, really concentrated. Absolutely mint wines. Stanko's son is now the winemaker. He's a really cool dude. He's a big stocky guy. He's, he's cool. These truly are some of the greatest orange wines in the world. No, they're actually some of the greatest wines in the world. We've partly got Radicon and Gravner to thank for this orange wine revolution because they're bringing back those techniques that were used in Georgia so many thousands of years ago. But it's happening all over that area of Europe as well. If you go into Slovenia, Slovakia, Czech Republic, there's skin macerated wines in Germany, Hungary, Austria, and Georgia, of course. So it's not just Northeast Italy, there's orange wines all over the place. This wine here is from South Africa. You might have seen it. It's from a guy called Craig Hawkins, and he makes this out of Chenin Blanc, 10 days skin contact. This is insanely smashable. Honestly, it's one of them wines that's got like a load of apricots and it like gets in your cheeks. In the park, summer's day, you can easily find this wine, probably about 16, 17 quid. It's worth it. These wines from Selvadoce are insane. They're in Liguria in the north of Italy. They're right on the seaside and they're making wines from Vermentino that have got a bit of skin contact. And normally Vermentino is a pretty boring grape variety, but the way that these guys do it, it just takes it to another level. And a lot of the salt that's on the skins and that, you can taste it in the wine. You, they're like very salty wines. The taste of boiled sweets and all sorts. Those wines are ridiculous. So that's an example of taking a very unremarkable grape variety and just elevating it with that complexity that comes with the skin contact. So um, another one I've been enjoying recently is this Tragalago. That's another smasher, probably about 10, 15 quid from Alicante in Spain. I really like orange wines that are made out of these aromatic grape varieties. So this is made out of Moscatel. You can make orange wines out of other aromatic grape varieties, you know, like um, Gewurz Tramina, you know, the ones that have got the flowery sort of lychee flavors. That extra herbaceousness and the floral stuff just seems to go really well with the skin contact wines. You've got the texture, you've got the herbs, it just really balances it. It's got a slight hint of wood varnish, but in a really good way. I think I'm gonna have another glass. You know the sewage coloured Sancerre that I'm always banging on about? Sebastian Ruffo makes orange wine as well. You might think that his, his wines are all macerated, but they're actually not. They already go a little bit orangey anyway because they're so late harvest. But he makes another wine, you'll see on the bottle it says Maceration. It makes it even more intense. Whatever you think about Sancerre, this will turn that idea on its head. Because this wine is like having a ginger biscuit in a glass. It's crazy, it's like all cinnamony and gingery and all sorts. Very strange, but interesting. And of course, the calcareous wines from Valentina Pasalacqua in Puglia, Italy. Um, I've discussed these in my last video, so have a look at them. That's the one that comes in a litre bottle. Um, that's it, that's all I got for you. 
Until next time, you've been watching the Geordie Wine Guide.